G7 Plus is a group of 20 countries affected by conflict and fragility. Uh, we also put a lot of emphasis on climate security because most of our members are, are not only landlocked countries, but also some of our member states are also geographically surrounded by uh, ocean and coastal areas. Uh, therefore, we also put emphasis in implementing the SDG or the Agenda 2030 in terms of managing our water resources and all the, the things that are affecting the livelihoods of our people in those countries. Our countries like Haiti, Solomon Islands, uh, Liberia, uh, Sierra Leone, Timor-Leste, uh, those are the countries, or even Comoros, and those are five or six countries uh, that from our member states are also affected by, for example, the rising of the ocean, for example, in the, in the future. And, and uh, for example, if the Security Council comes up with any resolution, we definitely will support in New, in New York. The more you talk about development, you have also to realize that those countries are left behind, are marginalized, and they are running into risk of being eliminated if we don't tackle it now for, for the next 15 years. Under the, the tag of uh, climate security, uh, peace and development, everything is interlinked. Yeah? So development has to be holistic. We are not only talking about uh, development in post-conflict situations from our perspective, but you also talk about countries that are geographically affected by physical presence, for example, the, of, of the small island state, and we need to support them. This is, we support the small island states, landlocked countries, and those countries that are in specific needs uh, for the implementation of the Agenda 2030. We need to support them.